Hey guys, so I was looking around on eBay recently and I found these neat little 8x8 um, single color, well, they're red, um, LED matrices. So I thought, hmm, I wonder if I can create like a small board to fit on the back to like create a lead badge or something. So I came up with this, it's just a kind of daughter board that sits on the back. It's uh, the same form factor as the display itself, so it's nice and compact. Um, it doesn't include like a battery socket or anything, because it's just a prototype. That's something I could put in a second revision, maybe. Anyway, so I've soldered one of these up. Um, so basically on the back, it's got um, an AVR at Mega 88P. Um, some header pins for programming and testing. It's got a resonator on it. Um, I was originally planning to kind of make it plug into a base, baseboard or something that has buttons and then that can communicate with this via SPI or serial. Um, I might still do that, but I'll probably fix that up in a second revision maybe because there's a few quirks with this. Um, so this one I actually thought it would be cool to sand off the front and smooth it off, so I did that. It probably was for the worse because it's hard to read now, because the white clashes with the red, but it's alright from a distance I suppose. So if we go ahead and turn this on, whoop, it just... um scrolls through like various strings it's actually running a slightly modified version of the 64 pixel code which a quick google search will turn up I'll probably put it in the description uh, it needs to be modified from that because that's a project that just uses um, an AVR a tiny 24 I think maybe um, and a larger matrix but it doesn't have a PCB at all but they directly drive the LCD, uh, the LED matrix from the AVR which was perfect for my application which does the same. So a neat thing about the code is that um, it saves the current position either glyph or text string in the EPROM when you plug it in so every time I disconnect the power and plug it in, it will move on to another string. And these are just the default strings that have been programmed in. Um, if you look up the source code, you can write your own. So yeah, if we just scroll forward a bit, I'll yeah, get to some glyphs. So it's just like a beating heart. Um, and the code allows you to configure many attributes, so you can change like the pulse rate of the glyphs. And you can you can edit your own glyphs, put your own in, if you don't like the built-in ones. So it's a space invader. And these would be perfect for a lead badge, because it just make it look more interesting. And then it goes back to the text strings. But yeah, I found that if you're trying to read this up close, it's quite hard. You, it reads it a lot easier on the side because you don't get the um, the bright center of each pixel. But if you have it at a distance, um, when you it might be a bit far away, a bit blurry, but it's a lot easier to read the text. I found. Anyway, so that's just filling in this project. Oh. Might have some updates soon. Uh, see you later.